Welcome back to another episode of Carson's Aquatics. Today, I got a real simple one for you guys. Today, I'm gonna to be cleaning the indoor turtle pond. There's Sheldon, just give him a little snack. Also checking in on Lou, my new platinum beta fish. I got him a couple videos ago. He's doing great. He's very active, as you can see. He's eating well. In fact, I'll give him a little pellet right now. How did he not see that? Also checking in on the frog. He is still huge. Just look at that. Massive. He looks ready to eat. We'll also give him some pellets. There you go. Come on. Oh, got one. He, he just attacked the plant. Boy, the food is up here. Right past it. There he goes. Got it. All right, anyway. So the pond isn't super, super dirty, but as you can see, there's some algae over there on that rock. Some crap in the back corner. So I'm just gonna handle all that and I thought I might as well just show you guys how I do it. Which is actually funny because I don't even know how I'm gonna do it. So as you know, to clean all the gravel or sand in all of my aquariums, I just use one of these. It's called a siphon, also called a gravel vacuum, whatever you wanna call it. So basically you use this bigger tube to suck in dirty water and then this other end puts it into a container where you can then dump it out. But the siphon actually only works when the tube that lets the water out is lower than the tube that sucks it in. And this turtle tub is on the ground so you can't get any lower than the ground, so I don't think that this is gonna work. In fact, I know it's not gonna work because I just tried it before I started filming this video. So I need to think of a way that I can clean the sand without using the siphon. I got it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is remove Sheldon. And for that, I have this container. I just rinse it down to get off the dust and anything else off of it. Just gonna put that right over here. Now I'm gonna remove all the decorations and put them on this towel. I just turned off the heater. I'm also going to turn off these lamps and I'm going to turn off the filter. I'm going to take the rest of the rocks out. are now out of the tub. I'm gonna just get this out of the way. All right, so here's the plan. I'm going to use this pitcher to empty as much water out of this tub as I need to before I am able to lift it. Obviously, it's way too heavy for me to lift. When it's empty enough to the point where I can lift it, I'm going to lift it onto these two chairs so that the siphon will work. The water will be above to where it's going. If that makes sense it will in a second hopefully so i'm going to try and drain some of this water out all right guys it's now at the point where i can lift it off the ground but first i'm going to take the filter and heater off i'm also taking the snails out I'll just go put them with Sheldon. Now I'm gonna lift the tub onto these two chairs. That 
that was actually extremely heavy and wobbly. <laughs> Can you imagine if I would have dropped that? Whew, that would not have been good. Okay, so now the tub is elevated. So now we can siphon the sand. All right, guys, I've gotten about as much stuff as I can out of this tub. So now I'm going to put it back on the ground. And there we go. And now I'm going to start refilling it with water. So the tub is about an inch and a half away from being to the level I want it to be at. But I am gonna go ahead and set up the filter and the heater just so the water can start circulating and getting back to the right temperature. First, I'm gonna even out the sand. Yeah, this water's really cold. I need to let the heater run for a while before putting Sheldon back in here, for sure. That's about good. All right, guys, the filter and the heater are both up and running. And while that water's getting all ready to go, I'm gonna go rinse and scrub down all the decorations, get all the algae off. All right guys, all the decorations have been cleaned. Now it's time to put them back in the pond. All right guys, the turtle pond is just about complete. I'm gonna add one or two more pitchers of water, but after that, we're just gonna leave it be, let it get to the right temperature, let everything filter through, and then we'll put Sheldon back in here. All right guys, it's actually been about a half an hour, and Water temperature is about where it needs to be. It's time to put Sheldon back in here. After all that, the turtle tub is looking nice and clean. Sheldon seems to be liking it. You may have noticed that I used this one gallon pitcher for pretty much everything having to do with the water. Um, I recommend using something bigger than this because you probably saw I had to make multiple trips to go dump the water out. But this is all I have down in my college dorm. You know, back home I have five gallon buckets bigger containers so uh yeah i would have finished a lot quicker if i would have a bigger container but we did it anyway i hope you enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit that like button do me a favor and hit that subscribe button turn on post notifications and i will see you in the next video